What's going on guys, it's Justice here, and we're going to be training prayer in the wilderness today. We're going to check out this new method, so after you've completed the wilderness achievement diaries, and I think once you've completed the hard tasks, you'll then be able to actually use this method in the wilderness. We're going to go and talk to Harrison to unknow our dragon bones, and we're going to train some prayer. We're going to track the XP across an hour, uh, we're going to compare against the, you know, the average which people get at the Gilded Altar, and just see how much better the XP is, but more so, I'm just making this video just to go and try out this method, show you guys, you know, how I'm going to do it. At the Guild Altar, I'm hearing things that you can get around 1500 Dragon Bones uh, used on the Altar per hour to train your prayer. So if that's the case, then, you know, if I'm aiming for, let's say, three trips to the bank at a minimum, let's say 500 Bones on me, so that's, that's the sort of numbers that I'm thinking right now. So if I put an offer in the Grand Exchange for some Dragon Bones, and I have a look at how much it's worth to buy 500 of them. So if I just put an extra 5% on the price per item, um, you know, it's 1 million GP. They'll probably buy instantly. So that's 1 mil. So I'm going to be risking 1 mil, 1 million GP each time. And there was an update that came out. And I don't know whether it came up, came out with that update or not. Um, but if you've got no dragon bones in your inventory like this, if you die with them, it will in fact only save one of these dragon bones and the rest of them will be dropped to the PK. The more time I'm actually training it there, the longer I'm there without even a PK turning up, the less risk that I'm actually, the less GP that I'm actually risking over time. All right, guys, so I've managed to um, get my preset set up. Pretty damn simple, to be honest. I was thinking of different teleports that I could use. I've got the wilderness sword and I've whacked that onto my action bar, so... You, the Chaos Altar is below level 20 Wilderness, so as long as you're not teleblocked, you can just instantly teleport out. And to be honest, because you are quite low in the Wilderness as well, you can just run back to Edgeville and just try and survive either way. But you, you're going out there at your own risk. In terms of what I'm wearing, I'm wearing a Falador Shield 4 at the moment, uh, just for extra defense, I guess. I mean... If I really care, I could just go and get some, you know, cheap armor, some bat wing robes or something like that. But, you know, I'm just going to go out there. I really don't think any robes will really help me in EOC, to be honest, where, you know, people can just absolutely wreck you with abilities or just stun you anyway. I've got the Wilderness Sword 3. I've got the Ring of Life, uh, where my life points go below 10%. If I'm lucky enough, then that should teleport me out. Um, again, I'm pretty certain if you're teleblocked, that won't work, though. And I've got the Illumination Aura, which I'll activate for plus 10% XP. And I don't even know if that even works because I've not even used it. I'm not a skiller. So, yeah. Uh, we're going to go into the wilderness now. The fastest way is to, well, to get to the Chaos Altar, uh, from my knowledge, is to teleport to the Wilderness Volcano. So, we're going to go there. I've got room metrics up here as well. So, um, I'm going to track the XP. I'm actually just going to um, plus prayer onto that. There we go, so we've got prayer now. I'm just going to go on my settings and make sure it's on this session, yep. I'm then going to run southeast. If you've completed the achievement diaries, I think it's the easy or medium. You'll then be able to choose a destination. I'm going to go to level 18 wilderness. Wait here a second. It's going to teleport me. Really like the animation here, actually. Then it's literally directly southeast of this obelisk. There should be a cape seller just further south, so I'll go there when I run out of the bones. I'm going to see how much XP I track through this method. As you can see, I'm at the Chaos Altar right now. You can pray here. There he is. The cape seller is literally right there, so I can just go to the bank. So I've, as a trial, I'm just going to use one. Well, I'm going to use one bone on the altar. Go away there. You don't have to worry about burners or anything here. Everything is equivalent to the Gilded Altar in terms of experience. Um, so I use the Dragon Bones on Harrison. There we go, he's gave one back, that's literally all I have to do, and then just use that on the altar again. So of course I'm going to use the altar on each one. It's a shame that um, when you put the bone onto your action bar, for example, the first click option is bury, uh, which kind of sucks. I'd like it to be used, but they don't give that option, I'm pretty certain there's no way of getting it like that. So I'm just going to have to right click use on the altar. Also, just a thought, the good thing about this method is that I'm pretty certain, I mean, to complete the achievement, uh, the Wilderness Achievement Diaries, it didn't really require much effort. They were actually pretty damn easy. Uh, not sure how many different level requirements there were because I'm maxed, but either way, it's worth looking into to see if you even need a high summoning level. I'm pretty certain you don't. If that's the case, then this is a great alternative for people who don't, you know, have a yak, for example, to make the Gilded Altar training a lot more efficient. And instead, they can just come and use this method. It will be interesting to see, you know, if there are any PKs out on the hunt. 
you know, for people who are training with this method. Maybe this method isn't that popular yet. Maybe people are wondering, you know, straight away, you know, I don't want to risk my bank or whatever. But if you think it's only like, I've only risked 1 million dragon bones and, uh, you know, the wilderness isn't a popular area for PKs. You know, there's not a lot of incentive at the moment. There's plenty of worlds on the main game of RuneScape, you know, to hop through and uh, to find a free world. Oh yeah, and I'm just thinking, if anyone says in the comment section, Oh my god, method ruined, caps lock, oh my god, he's ruined this method for me, I'm gonna get PK'd, dude, seriously. Um, it's been promoted everywhere. It's an obvious uh, reward for completing the diary set. You, you're going out into the wilderness at your own risk at the end of the day. But it re like I'm saying, it really isn't much risk. It depends on how much the wilderness gets revived. I think also we're just skillers at the end of the day. You know, they need a real incentive to, to come and PK us. You know, is 1 million GP. I mean, it's not even 1 mil GP anymore. And, it, you know, it's not much at all. So it goes down really quickly. You don't even have to take 500 bones. The bank is literally right there. So, you know, you're not really risking anything. If anything, they'd end up just being griefers and it would just be annoying. And to be honest, if you're a PK, if I was a PK, I'd rather go PK some actual PKers and risk for some really good loot rather than just PK and skillers. That's just my personal opinion. I mean, I'm not a PK, but, you know, when the deathmatch update comes out, the TDM update and the bounty hunter update, where it's at where those rewards are actually going to give you like entry level PK and gear, you might actually then see an increase in popularity of the wilderness. You know, right now, in terms of skillers, I don't know how it's looked upon in the PK community. So, yes, of course, I'd be angry if I get PK'd. Uh, yes, of course, you know, I've got nothing against PKers as such who are going to come and PK me because at the end of the day, I'm, I'm in a risking... I'm in an area that, uh, you know, I can be PK'd in. That's, that's the thing, actually. There's only one entrance in to this Chaos Altar. You can see PKers come from a mile away. So, again, you're doing this at your own risk. This is pretty AFKable, um, as long as you keep an eye on the screen every so often, which you know people do anyway when they skill. So, but with NXT, with the greater draw distances, you can see a PK come from a mile away. All right, guys, I lost a little bit of time there, but just reaching 500k on average XP per hour. Uh, I've run out of bones now, 540 ahead of my invent. I'm gonna go on bank now. I'm gonna right click bank, use my preset, boom, and then it goes straight back into the chaos altar area. Overall, I'm just thinking as well, I kind of like the risk to benefit um, aspect of, you know, now training prayer. And I don't know, to be honest, it could be a pretty fun area. I mean, if this does become something, you know, pretty popular, I mean, I'm, I don't know. I'm visualizing like a bunch of PKs out here or something and then people training prayer. Um, and I'm also visualizing just people protecting the prayer trainers as well and actually PKing the PKers and just like just crazy battles going on over here and stuff. I don't know. I, I don't know what this would be like if the wilderness was actually a popular place, how different this actually would be. But yeah, let me know your thoughts on this method really. Oh damn, I've actually just leveled my prayer to 101. Okay then. Alright guys, it's actually 55 minutes. It was about 55 minutes. Um, cool. I just PM my mate. I'm just doing the prayer method. Lol, cool man. Are you streaming? Okay guys. Um, yeah, I literally just put the record on. We just Basically, it's been an hour now. Uh, I'm going to track how many bones that I've used um, on the Chaos Altar uh, across the past hour. So essentially, we managed to use 1,860 dragon bones uh, within that hour. I'm pretty certain that's a pretty substantial number uh, when training prayer. We were averaging, well, the XP we managed to get across that hour is 489k. And again, you know, I was going at a decent speed, kind of semi-AFK, but I was, I was using Harrison as much as I possibly could. Uh, it also averaged out to 3.5. 3 million GP cost within that hour as well. I decided to go and try out the Gilded Altar method as well um, of prayer training with the help of a friend who was running the Dragon Bones for me and we averaged about 1,500 Dragon Bones an hour here. That's a difference of 360 bones of any kind which is equivalent to an extra 90,000 XP per hour if using Dragon Bones. That's a variance of plus 24% on your experience training here for prayer. I mean, that is pretty damn substantial to me. And for me personally, that does outweigh the risk. So is it worth the risk? 
Yes, it's worth it against having a runner um, for a Gilded Altar method, and it's also well and truly worth it if you don't use a runner and you're actually running to the bank yourself. Even if you can get closer to that 1,860 mark with a runner, I'm sure people can do it faster than what I did it with 1,500. Uh, maybe you can get up to 1,700 maybe, but past there, I, I assume you're going to be really, really pushing it um, in terms of the speed. I don't think you're going to be able to get much faster than that. Uh, this method against that is well and truly worth the risk in my opinion and you could even risk half the amount of dragon bones that I risked and it would still be quicker than the gilded altar method without a runner. Alright guys, so I actually do have the first age outfit. So I just want to see, you know, how much, uh, if it costs anything at all to retrieve your outfit. Because if it doesn't cost anything at all, then again that's another perk of going to do the wilderness method. I am going to destroy it. And just to prove once again that it does not cost anything to get back and retrieve. No, it does not cost anything. That's absolutely fantastic to know. All right, so actually I've got the full set here for first age. So I've got a 6% prayer bonus when I wear all of these items. There's only five items. And then if you wear them all at the same time, you get a set bonus of an extra 1%. And this outfit is from the Treasure Hunter. And it's worth noting, if you drink a dose of perfect Juju prayer potion, the buff will last for 60 minutes and you'll gain an extra 5% additional experience when using bones on a gilded altar. So yeah, that is the end of today's video. You know, I was hoping to come across some sort of action. I was thinking, you know, I'm going to make this video. I might come across a PK. I have to run for my life. It just didn't happen, guys. The, the most action that I actually got out of this video was getting PK'd by a unicorn. Oh my god. Oh shit. I thought I was a PK. It's a bloody unicorn. They scare the shit out of me. Oh my god. Either way, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe for future content. And I'll see you in the next one.